Hey there everybody, Joe here. Thanks for watching again. So I recently had the privilege of going down to visit Cuauhtemundi Middle School in Rio Rico, Arizona. And that's about five hours drive south for me from Flagstaff, Arizona, where I live. And my mom works down there at the middle school and her co-worker, Mr. Mac, just so happens to be a Mural Joe subscriber. You don't think they're gonna be like starstruck? I mean, I'm not really that famous. Do you think they're gonna be very excited when they uh, see you standing? I built it up, so we'll have to see. Yeah, <laughs> okay, this will be fun. <laughs> I show up there on the first day and uh, I did some demonstrating on the whiteboard and, and my goal is always just to show, uh, hey, this is more possible than you might think it is. And just to show how learning the parts in the same way I learn a language, an alphabet, how to read, uh, this is the same method I, I use to learn how to draw faces, to draw water, clouds, and and so we had a lot of fun. I drew a quick picture of Ricky. Okay, come on up here, Ricky. Okay, you guys have to be the judge. The moment at the end, I finally draw the outline around the face. It's coming together, it's coming together at the end. You draw the outline, and then I hear the class say, Oh, it's Ricky! You know, there's a... uh, you know, that was a lot of fun. You guys are great looking hoodie models. Okay, between, between Jesus and... I forgot your name already, I'm sorry. Luis. Luis. Between Jesus and Luis, which one has bigger difference between the light and the shadow? Abby's pointing to Luis. Who else thinks Luis has bigger difference between light and shadow? Yeah, a lot of hands. Okay, okay, I like the confidence, guys. Good job, good job. You're right. And if we wanted to paint the difference between a shinier fabric and a softer fabric, now we have a useful bit of knowledge to actually put with that looks like cotton. Now we can actually describe it and use it in our art because we know that if we make darker shadows and lighter highlights, it's gonna look more like that polyester-ish material that Louise has. And if we do less difference between the light and the shadow, it's gonna look softer like uh, Jesus. Okay, you guys sit down. Thanks, thanks for being my models. You look good. Well, it's the end of the day here at Cuauhtemundi Middle School and must have seen like four or five different groups today. Talked a lot about drawing and, and uh, man, I'm tired. I'm realizing that it is a, a serious job being a teacher working with kids. Tom's over here. Are you feeling tired? I'm tired. <laughs> I don't see how you couldn't. Couldn't be, so we're gonna do it again tomorrow. Okay, we're getting ready for the sixth grade class. Now, these are the littlest ones. This is serious. I need to learn what you did in order to get this kind of cooperation. This is like some of the best teamwork I've seen. Nice straight lines. Man, you guys are a good looking group. Are you ready to come in and do some more art? You wanna do that? All right. Man, I'm proud of you guys. This is good. Who got a good night's sleep in here? Good, good, good. I learned some things about Mr. Mac that I really enjoyed. He uh, really just has such respect from his students and that just shows that the quality of of him as a teacher, as a person. He cares for his students, and that really showed. Middle school is a tough, tough, tough age. All those unique things, you know, between friends and friendships and what you're learning. And sometimes lives aren't always perfect. Yeah. But for just one hour of the day, these kids can come in here to a quiet place where they can focus and just get lost. Cool. And uh, they cool. just, they light up. Yeah. And that's priceless. That's the best thing about teaching. Yeah. Is I get to see little tiny miracles every single day. When you hold it up to the light, you can see, see the shadow in there, see the brighter green? Yeah. This green, if I were to paint it, I would need to use more yellow. This was my first time ever teaching about the rule of shifting hues, but in a classroom setting, it was my first time ever teaching anything in a public school. 
but Does anybody have something perfect? Oh, that, that's a good picture. As things are illuminated from from one side uh, uh, and light comes through them rather than just bouncing off of them, it it changes the color, it shifts the hue. Do you think it's gonna go toward blue or toward red? Blue. All right, good guess, good guess, I love guesses. Yeah. All right, so let's hold it up. Did it get more red or did it get more blue? More red, that one shifted toward red. Okay, let's do another purple, where's another purple? I got to teach this in class, and so the important part is how can we use that knowledge in painting to make things look like light is coming through them and that they're glowing. That was fun. So I got to do a, 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 a painting of a dolphin jumping out of some ocean with some glowing clouds and space galaxy scene behind it and lightning. <laughs> I don't know, I guess everything that's fun to look at, right? So I... Uh, I'm gonna run over to Calabasas Middle School now, which was just kind of a, a last-minute addition to this trip. So I, I had planned on doing the, the three days here at Cotamundi Middle School, but but Calabasas Middle School right up the highway uh, got got word of it. You know that oh Re Renee's son is Miss Curran's son is Mural Joe, and there's some YouTube followers over there as well so i want to go over there and and thank them for making me feel so important and maybe do a quick demo mr via senor is a fantastic teacher and from what i've heard role model as well and so i want to say thank you very much to you uh, oscar for letting me come to calabasas middle school and that was just a short visit but also uh, a very sweet visit that I enjoyed so much. I, I did the same kind of thing there, drawing on the whiteboard, just preaching that same message. This is more possible than you might think it is if it's if it's something that you want to do and put time into. So thank you, Calabasa School, for letting me come and, and do that short visit. I hope I get to do it again. And of course, thank you, Quatamundi Middle School, for letting me spend uh, time there as well. I think the most special moment was the last day one of the students there who let me know that she was a an OG subscriber in her words and so I really appreciated that and she spent a couple weeks doing a very special drawing for me and so I'm there doing a demonstration on on the doing my painting up in front of the class on this board and then I hear behind me, um, um, and I didn't know what was going on. I'm oblivious to it until the whole classroom was um, um, you know, trying to get my attention. <laughs> like, why is everybody saying, uh, uh, uh. oh, wow, Melina, that's amazing. Why are we looking at my artwork? <laughs> I love it. Marlena, thank you so much. Oh, you just left. I'm excited to, to get that in my house and display it somewhere. So thank you very much, and it was really fun kicking a soccer ball around with you on the playground as well. I'll be down there again in Rio Rico soon enough, and uh, hope to do it all again. <laughs>